Hi there, quick introduction today. This is going to be a little video about Art Blab. It's um, a, like a podcast video that is done through Life Drawing Manchester by a fellow called May, an artist called May. And he um, visited me in my studio. We talked for absolutely ages. It must have been like four, or five, four hours we were chatting around. We finally got around to doing a little bit of videoing and um, he put it up on Art Blab. So it's uh, Live Drawing Manchester on Instagram and also they have uh, Facebook accounts as well. And it's a we weekly um, event on a Thursday evening where it, it, they have different models. You go along, get to do some drawing, which I'm showing you now. and it's just a fantastic atmosphere nice social atmosphere sometimes they do themes and you're invited to come uh, dressed to the theme you don't need to you can just come along and enjoy yourself uh, and then everyone goes down to the pier hat downstairs afterwards it's a fantastic evening they do as I said they do little special events now and again it's run by Riff and May, and they're a great couple of fellas. Um, and if you can go across to Life Drawing Manchester on Instagram and follow them, um, have a look at some of the art blabs. Uh, there's been some really good ones that he's done with other artists from all around the world. Um, and I was absolutely over the moon to be included. So this is a little segment of Art Blab that he released and um, I just wanted to say thanks very much to them. See you in a bit. Brilliant Janai, so after your initial sketches these are the kind of things Jill produces in her amazing art studio. <laughs> well th this triptych um, again was a response to something that was going on in the world you can it's really obvious what it was it, it's the covid thing but again it was my way of getting through um of actually getting through the the the, the situation in the world and i find if so is I, it quite cathartic for you to do this? extremely extremely if i don't paint a, about a subject it just keeps on rolling around in my head over and over and over and over when I actually get it down on canvas or down in a book or down, it... And you it, dealt with it then? It, it, I deal with it. And I actually deal with it once it goes into the sketchbook. So this is just allowing it to be shown to more people. So, so it's like a visual diary. Yes. Your, um... Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing is a visual diary, diary of, of things I'm observing on a day-to-day -day basis, whether it be global things like this, or right down to um, just personal things that I see on uh, around the streets. And when and people have seen these and you've had them in exhibition, have people sympathised with them? Did they share your view? Did some yeah. disagree? Yes, yeah, very much so, very much so. Uh, these, these, this triptych uh, was actually used um, in a compare and contrast essay by a university student in America and she she contacted me and asked me for permission to use it um, uh, as my take on uh, a plague and they used one of the Dutch masters and their painting of a plague and did a comparing oh, wow. in the universe so I was like yeah that's <laughs> okay uh, but it so it's been while why why uh, widely seen this one was in the Lowry as well for um, a few months uh, in an exhibition as well. Um, and what's this one? I'm being nosy, but oh, I this, can't. This is quite Someone a bit more topical with yeah, Harry and Meghan. Controversial and topical. Now, this one was all about how the media are being, are actually showing Harry and Meghan. So I, I, when I first put this one up, everyone was like, that's terrible, that's terrible. <laughs> you shouldn't be saying that, oh, that's so terrible. But it is not, it really, because what I'm doing is I'm making a statement on how the media are portraying Harry and Meghan. 
and the symbolism in this one goes quite deep in the the wallpaper in the background is actually uh, all the symbols are the symbols of their herald heraldry oh, okay. and this painting is uh, Edward Lancier's um, sanctuary and it's actually one of the paintings up at Balmoral and I think it's ironic that they have a painting that's called the sanctuary and then these people aren't actually allowed to go well they're not they don't feel like it's a sanctuary up there they don't feel welcome there um, this um, suit, suit of armour is uh, a King Charles suit of armour and also there's the cold marble of, a, of the fireplace so cut the cold and the warmth of this old building that, that they, they just have turned their wow. backs on so there's lots of things in there and then the this clock isn't a clock it's a bars so it's something being shown as something that it isn't uh, so oh, okay uh, okay. Uh, and the um time is two minutes to one so it's one oh sorry one minute to one so it's one to one so uh, there's nice. just there's all little things in there and how long did it take you to paint that painting? Is that, is that a typical sort yeah. of size you work at? Which is a big scale. Yeah, it, the, the idea takes longer. Oh, okay, to explore to your thoughts on it. it take that a couple of weeks to get my ideas together. And then it's about three weeks to, to, to actually... And just painting. exploring the studio. <laughs> just just to be really nosy, there's just works everywhere and easels and paintbrushes. Almost like a sort of archetypal art studio. And and uh, do tell us a story about your dragons, which you just told me, but it's just so much fun. I think we should end on that. Oh, OK, then. These two dragons are basically as uh, an artist... This is where you started out, I guess. Oh, yeah. a big part of where you started it's out. a big part, because uh, I found that I just needed a way to get my head above everybody else to be seen. So I actually did that by taking my paintings to fairs and also taking uh, my dragons as well. I was known as the dragon lady for quite a while <laughs> because everyone said, have you got your dragons? It's like, what about, instead of looking at the dragons, what about my paintings? It's like, no, oh, no, we want I like, I like the gimmick, I like yeah. the gimmick, but it's so a beautifully made one. It, th these are made by myself. So we've got uh, Glyn, Gl Glyn's a dragon, aren't you? Yeah. And their eyes move. They, they are probably technically brilliantly made. <laughs> well, Glyn was the first one, so he just looks goofy. And then we've got... Um, this is the other one. This is Ruby. Um, oh, and then Ruby can say bye to everyone. Yeah. Go on, Ruby. Yeah, she... she, uh, <laughs> she <laughs> so, and you'd like to say goodbye to everyone. Oh, brilliant. Thank you, Jill. Amazing nosing in your studio. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, so now you've met uh, Ruby and Glyn and had a nosy around my studio. It was an absolute mess that day, but it always is when you're painting all the time. Um, all that's left now is questions and answers. Questions and answers. All right, today's questions on questions and answers is from Catherine. And she says, why does the government have such contempt for the arts when it's one of the few industries where Britain excels globally. Oh gosh, um, it does feel like that sometimes, it does feel like the arts aren't supported or supported in a minority way. Um, th there's not a lot to access at the moment, especially compared to what there has been in the past. I know there's not a lot of money floating around, but um, we've just had uh, experience of one of our local galleries being threatened with closure and they're having to do a heck of a lot to try and stay open. There is a video about it further back, uh, Bury Art Museum. Um, to see it firsthand that they really are cutting corners and cutting costs by cutting the arts really hurts as an artist it really hurts um, because it's a cultural thing where 
if people don't express themselves and don't share that within the community, where does the community feeling come from? The, it, I, what I'd like to do is I'd like to invite you to answer the question as well. Why does the government have such contempt for the arts when it's one of the few industries where Britain excels globally? Make a video about it and link me to it or write down in the comments what you think. Um, it's, it's a vast uh, question and not a nice answer. I, is it because they don't care? I don't know. But I'd like to see what you think about it as well. So, on that note, I'll see you next week where I'm going to have some nice news as well. And, Gwyn? Gwyn's going to have some nice news as well, aren't you, Gwyn? Hey? Who's that over there? <laughs> Thanks very much. See you next week. Bye. Thank you.